In this lesson, we are going to look at certain ways to simplify circuits. Okay, so basically, we are going to look at transformations. Okay, we are first going to look at source transformation, and then we are going to look at delta star transformation. Okay, so just first look at what is happening in source transformation. Okay. So let's just say you have a voltage source which is connected in series with a resistance. Okay, anywhere where you see this type of a circuit, okay, or this type of a part in a circuit, then this, if it is V, this, if it is R, then can be replaced with. A current source having a current V upon R, which is in parallel with a resistance of value R. Okay, so this is equivalent to this guy. Okay, anywhere you see this, you can just replace that replace that part with this part. Okay, just realize over here. The polarity and direction of current is important. Okay, so in this particular case, the current is going this way, right? Since this is positive polarity, current is going this way. Therefore, your current source is also going to be in this direction. Okay, just see if you have an open circuit over here. Okay, let's just say this is A, this is B. Okay. What is the voltage across this open circuit? Since this is an open circuit, there is no current going. Therefore, the voltage across AB is V volts. Okay, just see over here. If you have an open circuit, okay, then what is the voltage across AB over here? The voltage across AB over here is the voltage which is Across this resistance, okay, we've already said the current of this current source is V upon R. Therefore, the voltage across this resistance is the current which is V upon R into R, which is equal to V. Okay, so over here also the voltage across the open circuit is V volts. Okay, basically these two circuit. Parts are equivalent. Okay, so anywhere you see this, you can replace it with this, and anywhere you see this, you can replace it with this. Okay, so we've said that these two are equivalent. Okay, so when I say these two are equivalent, it means the voltage across AB should be the same, right? And if I were to connect a resistance like this across AB, let's just say this resistance is R I, or let's just say it is R one. Okay, then the current flowing through R one should be same in both the cases. Okay, if I were to connect the same resistance R one across AB, then the current flowing through R one in this case. And the current flowing through R1 in this case should be the same. Okay, only then I can say these are equivalent circuits. Okay, so let's say over here, what do you have R and R1 as they are basically a series combination. Okay, since they are series combination, the net current which is flowing in this circuit is V upon R plus R1. Okay. Now let's look at this guy over here. You have a current source which is equal to V upon R, and this current source is basically being split into set of parallel branches. Okay. Now you must be knowing your current divider rule. As per your current divider rule, if you have many parallel resistances connected together, okay. And if the current is I over here, then current through any particular branch is given by I into R upon resistance of that branch. Okay, so current through this particular branch would be I into the equal.